Hi, I'm Karis Caves reporting for HU16. Right now I'm here with Brian Donovan, who has recently been promoted to the fire chief here in Searcy. Hi, welcome. Welcome, thank you. Uh, so the first question I wanted to ask you was what are your goals as the fire chief? Well, mainly we had uh, just to continue the direction we're going. At this point, we are a ISO class one department. We're accredited department, so that's pretty big in the fire service field. So mainly just to keep on uh, doing what we're doing, make sure that we uh, continue with our safety program as far as cancer is a big thing in the fire service. So we've got programs that we have that just to benefit the guys, to prevent these guys from getting cancer and heart disease and things like that. Just mainly just safety issues is my goal right now. Uh, as I go into it and get further in, I'm sure there'll be other goals that we're wanting to uh, accomplish, but for right now, it's just mainly just safety for the citizens and for our firefighters. Wonderful. Now, I know you went from battalion chief to fire chief. How yes. was that transition for you? It's been pretty good. I mean, when I became fire chief, uh, battalion chief uh, two years ago, I mainly, I went today, so that was my biggest transition going from working 24 hours on and uh, to going to a 40-hour week job. That was my biggest transition. Um, but right now, it's not been a real big transition, still learning the job and mm -hmm. learning the position. So it's just going to be a little bit, a little bit of a little bit of a change. But right now, it's just not much of one, just continuing to work with the guys. Definitely. Now, I was wondering how you envision the fire department's um, context within our community here in Searcy. Right now, we keep a lot of uh, programs going inside the city of Searcy. We have car seat checks to where we, any mothers that are have newborns, we check car seats, we make sure they're installed properly. We have uh, many events that we do through our schools, public education, fire safety house, and uh, just a lot of different things. Anything that we can do to benefit the community, if the community leaders have ideas, they come to us, and if we're able to, we do what we can to help them out in any way. Mm -hmm. And lastly, I was wondering if you could give any advice to students here at Harding or residents of Searcy, uh, how to keep themselves safer, what would you say? I would say just take a look at your home. You want to take, uh, you want to make sure like in the dorms and things, mainly you're not supposed to have any open, ca any open kind of flames on the dorms. Mm -hmm. And for those rooms that have, uh, say kitchens with stoves, just be sure that you're conscientious about making sure your stoves are turned off after you've finish cooking and uh, just don't play with matches. <laughs> you know, don't, uh, just mainly just open flames. Be sure that you keep them, don't use open flames. In your homes, just be conscientious of all the things yeah. that could be a fire hazard in your home. And we also, as a fire department, if you ever need us, we can come to your home and give you a, uh, just look at your home and tell you the areas that could be in Okay. It could be a danger to you. Well, thank you so much for that advice, and thanks again to Brian Donovan for coming in. 